All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, it's going to be a real quick lesson. And, um, you know, I was reading uh, St. John, the 15th chapter, and uh, this is a scripture we all know, you know, and it gives understanding, you know, why the world hates you. Because you serve the Lord You know the ways of this world You know they consider That the Lord's ways Is grievous You know Because they live for the flesh And the hopeful elect You know they live more for the spirit They live more for the second kingdom Well excuse me the next kingdom Alright which is the kingdom of heaven Which is ruled under Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai You know they despise and hate the Lord Even though some of them they go to these churches and they believe in false gods, you know, and they uh, they may say they love God and this and that, but their actions don't prove it, you know, their actions don't prove it. And when you come with them with the word, with the Bible, you know, they despise it, you know, they justify wickedness or they try to find another way out, you know, you know, and cast you out as if, you know, you can't say nothing, you know, because really the world hates you. You know, these Edomites, our enemies, the other nations, they hate you. You know, your own people. You know, you try to correct them or, you know, you try to help. You know, they turn around and stab you in the back. But, hey, this is John 15 and 18. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. So with that understanding, you know, you're going to be hated in this truth. You can't get around that. You can't hide. Because this is a spiritual war going on. You got demons, man, that, that jump on individuals just to, you know, start something with you, you know? Because why? You believe in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right? So the Lord's words, which is here written in red, which is what he spoke, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ, he said, if the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you, you know? And why did they hate Yahweh Shai? Because... You know, the, you, had the, you had the Israelites, you had those that was in power, you know, Sadducees, you had Pharisees, you know, and not all of them was wicked, but the ones that were hypocrites and, and had some type of power in Israel, so, you know, rulership, rulership authority over the Israelites, those that, you know, were called Jews in that time, you know, they uh, they uh, hated Yahweh Shai because Yahweh Shai was, you know, stopping their money, man. You know, Yahweh Shai was saying that he was the son of the Most High. And that was something they never heard. They thought it was blasphemy. You know, they, they was thinking he had pride. You know, the Lord even proved proved that he was because of his works. You know, he didn't really have to say it. It was it was shown. And as the Lord even said, if you would have read, you know, you would have known that it was a it, he would he was that guy to come. He was that savior to come, which was gonna lay his life down, man. Alright. Put that on there. Alright, so let me continue. It says, if the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. You know, I, it speaks values, man. It can keep going on and on. You know, because this world that we're living in is full of hate. Alright? And they want to give us hate speech on our certain videos. You know, when all we're doing is just bringing out the truth. You know, that's how you know we're living in uh, some evil times, man. We're living in the end of Esau. Because now, you know, the, when you speak truth, they consider it hate. You know, they don't want this um, sort of rebellious, rebelliousness or freedom of speech. You know, they don't want you to speak up and speak out because, you know, when you make sense, it troubles them. You know, because they're wicked. You know, it's like shining a light in a room. You know, with, you know, darkness disappears. You know, darkness, you know, you know, um, um, disappears when light is shined. You know, that's why the Lord created a balance. You have the night, which he started the earth in the night. All right. And you had the night, the, the moon being the light of the night, you know, but the earth is, you know, but this, that side of the earth is dark. And then you have the sun. It has this time uh, and hours, you know, to to perform its work in the earth. So you got the night and you got the sun. They both can't be at the same time. And right now, we truly are living in the night because this is 
uh, uh, Satan's rulership, man. This is uh, demon spiritual Satan's uh, kingdom uh, ruled by his counterparts, Esau. Yep. That's why, you know, wickedness keeps getting uh, put on high. This is why lies keep getting uh, pushed above, you know, above the truth. Even Jake hate hearing the truth, you know? You know, a long time ago, years ago, we used to, we used to say this was the, uh, you know, this is Esau's kingdom, of course. But we used to say that this is the uh, black woman's kingdom as well. And these other nations' kingdom. You know, and it's starting to be, hey, it's really a, a kingdom for you two-thirds as well. You know? But anyway, let me continue because I want to make it quick. It says, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. All right? So this is why you're being hated. This is why demons attack you. This is why, you know, certain things happen and you least expect. You know, the Lord said, don't take it strange when these fiery uh, trials come upon you. You know? Let me read that again. If he were of the world, the world would love his own. So showing you that, you know, we're not of this world, man. You know, we don't care for this this time of, in the world, you know, this age, you know, because it's on its way out anyway. You know, we're not with the homosexuality. You know, we're not with the lies, you know, with the with the hypocrite. You know, we're not, you know, for this bullshit that Esau's kicking. We're not for the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. All right. So it says, if you were of the world, the world would love his own. So if we was out here and we was on the street, you know, teaching them how to make money. Jake would love us, you know, a quick hustle, you know, learning how to, you know, cut corners. Because that's all Jake care about, you know. That's all they care about. That's all two thirds care about. All right. It says. It says, but because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. So the Lord have chosen, uh, elect, he had chosen his elect out of the world. He handpicked, selected, all right, going back to the Greek word, eklektos, all right, he handpicked, selected certain individuals. You know, he favored these men and picked them and chose them to take them out of this world, all right? So that's a special thing, man. That's beautiful. All right, being chosen by the Lord. It says, therefore the world hated you. So this is why the world gonna hate you, because the world hated him. You know, it says, remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sayings, they will also they will keep yours also. Alright. Let me continue. It says, but all these were they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. So anything that's being done to us, being mistreated, you know, evil is being spoken of of us. You know, they doing all this because they don't know the father. All right. They don't know Yahweh. All right. They wasn't handpicked. They wasn't favorite of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shah. You know, they're not the elect. Let me read that again. But all these things they will do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. All right? Because if they knew the most high, they wouldn't dare, you know, put uh, put their hands or do certain evil things unto you, you know, because they'd be in fear of Yahweh. But they don't fear the most high. All right? Then they don't fear Yahweh Shai. It says, um, verse 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not, they had not sinned, excuse me, they had not had sin, but now they have no cloak for their sin. So there's no excuse for them. And in the same as Yahweh Shah told us to continue to push this ministry, continue to teach this gospel until you come back. Hey, guess what? There's no difference from now and 2000 years ago. You know, the gospel is still being preached. Now there was, you know, uh, uh, there was a time where we discontinued from this, uh, you know, from these uh, this knowledge of ours and, and our inheritance. But guess what? We're teaching it exactly what it was, what, what was being taught, you know, when Yahweh Shai was here, all right, when Paul was on the scene and so forth, you know, the prophets, all right. So it's really no different. So there's no excuse for y'all, man. The prophets are out there teaching, so it's no excuse. For two thirds, there's no excuse for a wicked woman, you know, to uh, 
to usurp authority. It's no excuse for a evil man, you know, to slander his brother. It's, it's no excuse, you know, for an evildoer. It's no excuse for a murderer. It's no excuse for a thief. It's no excuse for a man or a woman that's covetous or a woman that's jealous over another woman. All right? There's no excuse, man. All right? It says, he that hateth me hateth my father also. So they hate the most high. And we know what the scriptures say about those that hate the most high. It says that they love death. So that means you, you know, you hate the Lord. You just, you know, you love coming back and then dying again. You know, getting put into a, a grievous death. Because to hate the creator is a, to hate the creator, you're a fool, man. All right. It says, if I had not done among them the works which now other men, uh, none other man did, they had not had sinned. But now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. But this cometh to pass. So I can, let me get up here. It says, but this cometh to pass that the word might be fulfilled that is written in the law. They hated me without a cause. And that's exactly, that's exactly how it goes for us. Because we are in the body of Yahweh Shai. All right, they hate us with a cause. They just hate us because we out there teaching and and really cutting everybody. You know, we don't side. You know, you see Jake. You know, they like you. You know, if you sided with them, you know what I'm saying? Like, like if you kind of you know sided with them, because most people when they got their thing going on, they, they 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 side with other people just to make to keep peace. You know, to let everybody feel good, but. Lord got the spirit on the prophets to where it ain't, it ain't making nobody feel good. Everybody's fucking wicked. And that's the truth, you know? Any person that come up, anybody that's talking out their mind or got some type of worldly shit going on, they ain't seeing the picture. So they cut, they mad at the fact that what you're saying. They don't like the fact that we talk about the black woman. They don't like the fact that we talk about this Edomite, which is the devil that rules the earth and that's oppressing them and oppressing us, you know? They don't like the fact that we talk about his plans. They don't like the fact that we go out there and teach the Bible and, and, and teach this and teach prophecy. They don't like the fact when we talk about destruction. <laughs> you know? It says, um, but when the comforter, yeah, they hate they hated us without a cause, man. Like they done Yahweh Shai. It says, but when they come when the comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the spirit of truth. Which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. And ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. You know, so we blessed, man. And Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. So I want to say, you know, Barak a thumb to all the Akim and the hopeful elect. Let me say Barak a thumb to all the hopeful elect around the world teaching his truth and sincerity, man. Starting with our apostles, man. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. So with that, I want to say Shalom. Shalom.